Yo, what's up, man? So we have a question right here. So they say, determine the components of a vector V uh, equal to P1, P2, with the initial points P1, 3, 1, 4, and the terminal points. So initial, I hope everybody know what the initial. Initial means it's starting. So the starting point is P1 equal 3, 1, 4, and the terminal point. Terminal means like a final final or the last point which is p2 3 1 4 show all the calculations we're gonna have to we're required to find p1 p2 this is easy man first and foremost man you know some people don't know what a uh, vector meaning vector whenever you say vector vector always must have a magnitude in direction what you mean you say magnitude for example if i push this board here let's say means i'm gonna use a force so that force how do you measure force force you measure using what newton so i'm saying so i'm gonna measure force using newton so this let's say this is my hands so I'm, 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 not, I'm not good in drawing, so I push it. Means I'm gonna use force to push this blackboard. Mm. So I'm saying, in which direction? I push this, let's say, north, north, or forward, or south, or waist. So that direction, that north, south, east, south, waist, forward, backwards, or back, that's what we call direction. But at this force neutral, mean that's it, we call it magnitude. So any vector, it must have a magnitude and direction means you're gonna have to use a force and which direction? Right or left. That's why vector always you have to represent using initial points. Let's say this point A and this is point B. So these are points. So to get vector, because vector this one. So to get vector, vector A, B, we must say take final points minus initial points. Means you, you have to take the points of the header minus the initial points. So that's how you do, man. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> so not all the time vector must be represented by using a uh, force. Sometimes it could be wind, let's say the wind blowing southeast. So if the wind blowing southeast, meaning the wind is gonna blow with the speed. So that speed is the magnitude. For example, the wind blowing south southeast by four. 40 kilometer per hour you see what i'm saying so this 40 kilometer per hour this is magnitude but which direction southeast northwest uh to the north so that's north south that's the duration of the wind but when you say 40 kilometer per hour this is magnitude of the wind or magnitude of a vector you see what i'm saying so <coughs> excuse me so let's take a question right there so let's say uh, it's about the components of a vector v p1 and p2 with initial points means initial we go to P1, final that one, so let's calculate it. So, this is a vector space because it has three coordinates x, y, and z. x, y, and z, x, y, and z. So, it has three coordinates, so it's a vector space. So, let's see how we can get it. It's easy. So, to get P1 and P2, you say P1, P2 vector always take the final, which is the head of the vector, minus initial. So, I'm going to say, what is my final? This one. So, it's like this, 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 this P2, which is 3, 2, 1. So, you can say, okay, or I could say x2 x x2 y2 and z2 means this is x y z and then we have to minus the initial always so you can say okay minus x1 y1 and z1 so to get this vector <coughs> so you know what i'm saying you must say x2 minus x1 so it's okay so x2 minus x1 and then y2 minus y1 and then z2 minus z1 so this let me say for this case now because we have a given data we have a p1 we have a P2, means we have a X2, Y2, Z2, so we can plug it in. So it's like 3 minus 3, it's like X2 minus X1, 3 minus 3, 3 minus 3, and you go for the second one, 2 minus 1, and then go 4 minus 4. So this is going to give us 0, and this is going to get 1, and this is going to be 0. So this is P1, P2, that, which is 0, 1, and 0, done. So, man, so that's how you do this question, man. So, we go for the second question. The second question is more easy. <coughs> Excuse me. So, okay, this is more the unit vector. What is a unit vector, man? Let me, let me explain to you. So, I'm saying, what is a unit vector? So, unit vector. Unit vector. A unit vector, let's say unit vector V or U, it doesn't matter, whatever you find for. If let's say unit vector U, it's always, you say, take the same vector given vector U exactly vector u and then you divide by the magnitude of vector u magnitude what is the magnitude? magnitude is like a distance magnitude of the same vector u that's how you get unit vector so let's see how we can calculate what is the magnitude of a vector face so any unit vector you take that vector given unit vector you take vector given over magnitude of a vector but for this case here look they give us vector v and b a vector in r cube mean that's the r in space mean three dimension 
or a space verify the unit vector in the direction means we have to find a unit vector and see this unit vector equal to one of our means we're going to have to verify if this is true a unit vector so since this is v then you have to write the formula for v so we're going to say okay so it's not you anymore <laughs> that was just example so since you have to use v so it's okay unit vector v say unit vector v unit vector or v excuse me i say you again my apologies unit vector v equal to vector v over magnitude of vector v this is called magnitude of a vector okay so the tricky face you have to get magnitude because vector v we know vector v is given one two three so we have to find magnitude of a vector face so how are we going to get magnitude of a vector so i'm going to do here magnitude of a vector is easy so it's okay magnitude of a vector always this is how you do you take the value of the face x square y square and z square means you're going to say okay x square x plus y square plus z squared. That's how you're going to get magnitude of a vector. So now we're going to say our magnitude of a vector v equal, you square root, what is our x? x equal to 1. So 1 square plus, what is y? y equal to 1 square. And z is going to be 1 square. So this is going to be 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 3. So square root of 3. So the magnitude of a vector v equal to square root of 3. So now we know vector v, which is given 1, 2, 3. So what we're going to do, we're going to substitute and get a final answer for my, uh, unit vector. So we're going to say unit vector so it's been unit vector, unit vector equal to vector v, which we have one, two, three. One, two, one, two, one, 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 one. So one, one, one over magnitude of a vector, which we have. Say over square root of three. So what we're gonna do, excuse me, what we're gonna do now, we just separate. So now we're going to say finally magnitude of a vector. So we can say, you can separate the face one of these. So this I may say 1 over square root of 3. 1 over square root of 3. But this is i. Remember in any vector, when you have a three dimension, I mean this is i, this is j, and this is chi. So it's like i and this is j. Excuse me. So there's two ways you can write this. If you want to write i, j, and k, it means you must say plus c in the middle. It means you take the first one, but you must say i, and then you say plus. The second one, which is going to be j, and then you plus. The last one means this last number. If this is 3, you must say 3 over the magnitude. And you must say this is chi. So this is the vector. But if you don't want to write like that, you could write, okay, I don't want to write like that. It's easy. So I'm going to say, okay, so I'm going to say vector without i, j, and chi. I'm going to write only number long. So number long, and then I write one over means one over this. Whichever vector, if it's five here, we're gonna say five over. So we're gonna say one over magnitude of three, and then one over, and then it's just magnitude of three. And this is the unit vector. <laughs> so that's how you do, man. So if you face some my channel, make sure you click the like button, subscribe, and share with a lot of people, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you do a vector and how to find unit vector. Unit super vector. Thanks a lot of your time, man. Appreciate it. Peace and love, man.